Before we get started, I wanted to express my deepest gratitude to you all for all of the love and support that you've given me within the two months that I've been doing this. And because of that, I'll be doubling the content every week. Instead of one video, it'll be two videos. Uploaded on Tuesday and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. sharp via the YouTube Premiere feature. That means double the content, double the collaboration, the vlogs, the creatives, everything you name it. Before we get started, there is one more PSA that I wanted to show you all. Check it out. I would encourage you all to go out there and vote. Vote, please. Yeah, I mean, at this point, this is one of the main big rights and powers that we have as citizens of the country. There is not an excuse not to vote and exercise your right. Everybody vote. Every vote counts. Hey everyone, it's Adrian Pingalinen and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're um, watching this for the first time, thank you very much for stopping by and welcome to the family. Today couldn't have been any more fitting that I'm doing this video about how to deal with loneliness. Although I'm in an empty space right now, there are people around me over there, but thankfully I was able to find this beautiful space inside. I am in my trip right now to New York City by myself being a solo traveler and it's funny because uh, <laughs> it's funny because every time I've told someone about it they were almost always shocked that I was traveling alone I was like I don't have any choice I don't have any travel buddies I'm, I don't have a I don't have a significant other that I could travel with the only person that I get to travel with is myself only myself you know being able to experience my own solitude in a different place, could feel so scary. In fact, it is really scary. I admit, as scary as it is, it's not the end of the world. And for the most part, if not always, I feel like I've always grown. I've, um, I've always grown as a better person after these trips that I've done by myself. Especially being an introvert. Being an introvert, being an old soul. Well, I, I mean, I'm not necessarily sure what being an old soul has anything to do with it, but especially being an introvert, I feel like it is so hard to motivate yourself to go out and put yourself out there in the world to be vulnerable, especially when you don't have anyone to keep you accountable when you are doing everything by yourself. I feel like there, I, I feel like it definitely takes a certain kind of discipline, specificity, tuning in and honing into yourself. To really be able to find your own ground and 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 be and be able to stay rooted into your own self in a new place where you're surrounded by new people and half the time oh it got dark <laughs> um, and half the time the people that I half the time people that I see are always with their family their significant others friends. Even, you know, not gonna lie, I, you know, get jealous sometimes even, um, you know, and that's normal and I find it definitely normal for me to observe and be like, I wish I had my friends who travel with, but at the same time, I'm here, I made it, I made it, I'm able to conquer, stand on my own, enjoy my own solitude and I admit you know just because it gets easy now I don't think it's always gonna be it's definitely it's definitely not always gonna be the same you'll, always, um, you'll have your days where you can feel so difficult and you know back to that feeling of being paralyzed um, because you're you know you, 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 you're alone and you feel hopeless that, um, you know, just that feeling of um, darkness that it could feel like. Not always true, but, you know, just a reminder, I'm just speaking from my own truth and from my own experiences, um, you know, and then the other days, and then, there, and then the other half, you feel so hopeful, you feel like you're, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world, like, you know, I'm a badass, I can do this, I can do anything, even if it's just me, myself, and I. 
you know? So I think that's very beautiful. This has actually been a topic that I've been wanting to do for a very long time now. Especially when I finally decided to restart my YouTube channel. Because I feel like this was what a huge part of my life has consisted of. Not being able to relate to anyone and vice versa. Feeling guilty that I wasn't always the most popular. You know, the person that people always wanted to talk to. You know, nor the party of the crowd. For those who, I guess, kind of share the same experiences that I have, or even worse, um, I think the first thing that comes to mind is, um, excuse me, I was just checking if it was still recording. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty that you are by yourself. If anything, if anything, just think of it as a blessing or even as an opportunity to get to know yourself better because I feel like not all of us really have the chance to get to know ourselves so well and so deep. Other relationships, whether that is friendship or relationship even, or professional. You know, I feel like a lot of times we just go in there, not really sure of who we are yet, and we're already having to juggle different lives and different realities while still trying to find ourselves. The next one that I have in mind is, it is what it is. It is what it is. I feel like I am often guilty of wishing that things were better, my life was better, that I didn't feel like this, I didn't feel like X, Y, and Z, but you know what? This is the life that I have. This was what the kind of life that was presented to me because I knew that I needed, because I, because I know that I, need to experience this uh, excuse me because I need to experience this in order to learn something from it just try to approach it as objective as you can because in reality nothing in life is really good or bad it's just it just really depends on how we perceive it I think the last one that I have is to not be afraid to be yourself because I feel like we live this life being in fear that the moment we become ourselves that no one is going to understand us, no one is going to want to talk to us, no one is, no one is going to want to be, you know, this, all of these reasons. And I feel like there's even more of a reason for you to, to go within and to dig deeper to see and, you know, to see that person that lives, to see the real person within you because that person inside has been waiting for so long for you to notice it, give it so much love that it deserves. And the moment you garden it, you sprinkle it with a lot of love, then you can finally begin to exfoliate that back to the world. And because of that, then you will begin to even have a better understanding of, understanding of who you are. We live the lives that we tolerate, meaning that we always have a choice. We always have a choice to say yes or no. We always have a choice to stay in something or to run away, especially if we know that, especially if we know that that doesn't make us happy anymore. I think, I think that's it. I think I really love the way this video turned out. Thank you very much again for tuning in for another video. And thank you so much for listening to me rambling. I just kind of feel like that's how my brain works half the time. It's in a form of stream of consciousness. If you're watching this and have felt the same way that I have, know that you're not alone. Please feel free to like the video, um, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, um, go ask down below and I'll definitely answer right away. And subscribe if you're inclined. Okay, so that'll be it for me and have a very, very beautiful day. I'll